Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to my Sweet Effects tutorial for 64-bit uh, Battlefield 4. Um, so I suppose you're wondering what Sweet Effects is. Um, so for you, some of you that don't know, uh, Sweet Effects is kind of like a game image improvement and kind of tweaking mod um, for 32-bit DirectX games. Um, but as you know, Battlefield 4 is a 64-bit application, uh, so it normally wouldn't work. So in this video, I'm going to kind of show you how to use it with the 64-bit version of BF4. Um, here you can see uh, my in-game settings uh, on test range, mostly high, medium and ultra, uh, a few effects on low or off, um, and I'm running resolution scaling at 130% and I cap my frame rate at 80 FPS. Um, so, but you can leave it at 100 if you want, it's, it's up to you. Um, you can see me kind of toggling the effects on and off in this footage, um, so yeah. So you can see here in the two screenshots the difference between the standard game and then when you add sweet effects on top. Um, you kind of can notice the textures are kind of more defined and sharper. You know the co colors pop out a lot more. Um, you know it's really good for using in cinematics and montages and you know even in everyday gameplay. Um, here's a, a look at sweet effects on a different map. Uh, I think this is propaganda from the Dragon's Teeth DLC. Um, you can tell the difference here quite a lot. Um, colors especially and um, but you know this can always be tweaked to your personal liking and you know there's plenty of options uh, in the configurator for you to play with um, but you can see it gives you a lot more vibrant and sharper looking video you know and when you're editing this in post-production it'll look really nice before you add any additional effects to it and um, so I'm going to move on to the next step which is uh, installing SweetFX so to get SweetFX, um, you want to click on the two links in the description of this video and um, they'll take you to my Mediafire page uh, where I uploaded both of them. Um, so next really you just want to uh, download those and then uh, browse to the location where you saved them uh, and then extract the file that's named uh, SweetFX plus EFX Windows 8.1. You can extract it into the same folder. Um, then you want to open the new folder and go to the uh, Windows or for Windows 8.1 x64 folder. Simply copy all the files that are inside there. Um, next, you want to browse um, to the save location of your Battlefield 4 install, usually in the Origin Games folder, and then you want to paste those copied contents into the root Battlefield 4 folder. Um, uh, you won't get the prompt that I got there to replace files because I already have it installed. Um, so after you paste them into the root folder, you can reopen your downloads and extract the uh, SweetFX configurator. Uh, now you can open the folder and you know pin the configurator to your taskbar if you want for easy use. Um, once you open the uh, configurator window you'll see it's kind of empty and there's not much there. So uh, you can scroll down to the bottom left corner where there's an add new game option. Um, just browse to the Battlefield 4 root folder and choose the BF4 EXE. Make sure it's not the 32-bit uh, version though. Um, so once you've added that you should see a kind of list of tweakable categories in the middle um, SAA, anti-aliasing and FXAA and all these different types of effects and filters and you can really play around with these and their values to get different kind of effects that you want in your game and you can definitely get a, a nice look um, you can also define kind of hot keys for toggling the effects on and off but I just leave it at the default which is scroll lock um, you can also customize and edit profiles in here and you know make backups of your profiles and load different ones you know to kind of get the desired effect you're looking for well that's pretty much it guys and um, all you need to do now is fire up battlefield 4 and the sweet effects configurator and give it a test for yourself and i put some links in the description about uh, sweet effects from people a bit more smarter than me uh, so you can check them out and uh, don't worry about getting banned for using it with punk buster or anything like that it's pretty much totally fine and um, once again I'll put an article to that discussion in, in the uh, description as well. So uh, I hope you guys have some fun with Sweet Effects. Um, you know, I hope it helps make your games and videos even better. Uh, you know, it works with most DX9, 10, 11 games that I've tried it on. So feel free to try it out on other games yourself and see how much of an improvement you can get uh, with some of your new and old games.